Hello friends, in the previous videos we looked at certain methods to solve single first order ODEs. We used methods such as explicit Euler method, implicit Euler method, modified Euler method and fourth order Ranji Kutta method. In this video we are going to solve a system of initial value ODEs using explicit Euler method. So we should note that a second order or a higher order ODE can be converted to a system of first order ODEs and can be solved using this procedure. The methods for solving a single first order ODE can be used to solve systems of coupled first order ODEs. Consider a system of general nonlinear first order ODEs of the form y1 dash equals f1 of t comma y1 comma y2 and the initial condition is given as y1 at t0 equals y10 and y2 dash equals f2 of t comma y1 comma y2 and y2 of t0 equals y2 naught. This is a system of uh, two first order ODEs. So, when we ex express that in the finest difference form using Euler's uh, explicit Euler methods uh, equations, we get y1 at n plus 1 equals y1n plus delta t times f1n and y2n plus 1 equals y2n plus delta t times f2n. So, here we have a system of two first order ODEs. The same methodology can be used for a system of many first order ODEs. So we will now try to solve an example uh, problem. So the system of ODEs is given as dy1 over dx equals negative 0.5 times y1 and dy2 over dx equals 4 minus 0 0.3 times y2 minus 0 0.1 y1. So these are a system of coupled first order ODEs because the term y1 is appearing in the dy2 over dx term on the right hand side of that term. So we, we would like to integrate or solve this problem um, ODE problem the limits are x equals 0 to x equals 2 and we would like a like, like to use a step size of 0 0.5. The initial conditions at x equals 0 is y1 equals 4 and y2 equals 6. We will try to do this manually using explicit Euler method. So y1 at n plus 1 equals y1n plus delta t times f1n so and f1n equals negative 0 0.5 times y1n these are the equations presented previously so if we let n equals 0 then y11 equals y10 plus delta t times f10 and f1 0 equals negative 0 0.5 times y10 which is equal to negative 0 0.5 times 4 y10 equals 4 that is the initial condition so we get negative 2 so when you we substitute back this f10 we see that y11 equals y10 plus delta t times f10 which is equal to 4 plus 0 0.5 times negative 2 which is equal to 3. Likewise we will try to solve the second equation this is y2n plus 1 equals y2n plus delta t times f2n. 
So here the independent variable can be x or t. In our case, it is uh, x. F to n equals 4 minus 0 0.3 times y to n minus 0 0.5, 0 0.1 times y n n. And again, letting n equals 0, we have y to 1 equals y to 0 plus delta t times f to 0. And f to 0 is given as 4 minus 0 0.3 times y to 0 minus 0 0.1 times y 1 0 which is equal to 4 minus 0 0.3 times 6 minus 0 0.1 times 4 which is equal to 1.8 and then y to 1 can be calculated which is equal to y to 0 plus delta t times f to 0 which is equal to 6 plus 0 0.5 times 1.8 which is equal to 6.9 by using the same algorithm we can calculate y12, y22, y13, y23, etc. We will now try to solve the same problem using MATLAB. So the system of equations is given as y2 which is f1 and y2 dash equals f2 of t comma y1 comma y2 and y1 n plus 1 equals y1 n plus delta x times f1 n likewise y2 n plus 1 equals y 2 n plus delta x times f n 2. These are the system of um, um, the, the Euler's explicit Euler method equations for the system of ODE. So our example problem is given over here. We would like to numerically integrate double set of ODEs from x equals 0 to x equals 4 using step size of 0 0.4. The initial condition is given as y1 at x equals 0 is 4 and y2 at x equals 0 equals 6. And the explicit Euler method equation for the system of equations for system of ODEs is given over here. And we can now run this case. And our values for the first step is 3 and 6.9. Let's compare that to the value we obtained manually. So y1 at 1 equals 3 and y2 at 1 equals 6.9. So, and graphically, when you solve these ODEs, uh, the solution appears like this. We can even go back and change the step size from 0 0.5 to 0 0.05 and rerun this case. So, our solution appears in this form. To summarize, in this video, we presented explicit Euler method to solve a system of initial value ODEs. The finite difference equation is explicit since fn does not depend on on plus 1. The explicit Euler method is conditionally stable. The global error is, error is of the order of delta t. The error can be minimized by using smaller steps. In the next video, we can look at fourth order ranji method to solve a system of initial value ODEs. If you have any questions, please post it. Thanks for watching the video and I will be uploading the code at some point of time in the website and I'll be providing some details in the YouTube section. Bye.